Welcome guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is of course Fighting Force for the PlayStation 1. So, um, this was a, a beat-em-up that I got roughly around the same time that I got my PlayStation 1. It was one of the very first games that I had gotten. It's not a particularly good beat-em-up, but it is enjoyable. I like it. Uh, apparently this game was supposed to be Supposedly, it was supposed to be a sequel to Streets of Rage. I think it was going to be Streets of Rage 4. But Sega decided that they didn't want it to be. So this ended up becoming its own IP. There's also a sequel called Fighting Force 2. But I heard that's like vastly different from the original. Alright, so we're going to play on the normal difficulty. Sound levels should be fine there. Alright, so let's get to playing Fighting Force. Now there's four characters that you can choose from. Hawk, Mace, Alana, and Smasher. Now, when I recorded this game years ago, I only did Hawk. I only played as Hawk and Smasher. This time, I think I'll do a run with each of the four characters. I'll save Hawk for last, and this time we're going to be starting with the character called Mace. Ace is a uh, Mace is a pretty well-rounded character, kind of like Hawk. She specializes in kicks. Her f or when she throws, she seems to be more proficient at throwing weapons than actually attacking with them. Because she seems to do more damage that way. And she has okay grabs. Now, I'm not sure really, really what's up with the music in this game. I've never fully understood it, but it just seems to not work sometimes. All, sometimes all you'll get is just ambient noise. The sound effects work, it's just the music seems kind of bugged. I don't know if that's just the game itself, or if there's something wrong with my disc, but hey, there you go. Anyway, here we go. Get out of here, Smiler. Alright, so that takes care of these go goons. So you have your basic attack with the X button, which is a three-hit combo for Mace. Her... Alternative attack is square, which does a, a double kick. You can jump. You can do a back attack with the triangle button, and you can also try. To, you can also hold it to do to perform a grab. And if you hit hit both X and circle at the same time, you'll execute the character's special attack. But just like in other beat 'em ups, doing that consumes a little bit of your character's health, so you have to use that at your own discretion. Anyway, we have a rocket launcher. Let's blast our way in here. That's right, bring it on. They didn't stand much of a chance. Throw that in there. Also throw these guns in there. Because why not? But yeah, if you're a fan of beat em ups, this one's alright. It's just, don't expect anything mind blowing. Well, that took care of them. Let's beat up their van. Ow. Well, he's gonna try and use his tire against me. Well, nice try. We'll also beat up this car. Go away, I'm trying to beat up the car. <laughs> the thing falling out of the trunk actually hurt him. It's kind of funny. So 
here we have a shotgun. It only has three shots, though. Pistols also only have uh, four, sh uh, five shots each as well. So the more stuff that you destroy in a stage, the higher your score score multiplier goes. So try to, try to break as much as you can. Yeah, I seem to have figured out that she does a lot more damage throwing the weapons than actually attacking with them. I don't know if that's say, true for, for every character, it's just something I noticed with her. Well, that took care of the big guy. There's an item to pick up over there. Yep. <laughs> Out of my way. Oops. I killed them all before I could destroy everything. Oh well, stage cleared. Now apparently the plot to this game is there's this this guy called Zhang, and he owns the Zhang Corporation. Apparently, he predicted... He was, like, one of those Y2K guys that was like, Oh, the world's gonna end in the year 2000! And when the world obviously didn't end, he decided that he was gonna end the world himself so that his prediction would be right. Kinda silly, if you ask me. But whatever. This game's mainly just mindless fun. I like it. Goodbye to these random security guards. Ow. Now you'll notice that you do have different kinds of grabs as well. Like that. Depending on which button you push. That's your back attack there. You can also just... Start, uh, with a, Most of the characters you have a, an attack where you can just attack them while you're grabbing them. Otherwise... I, I think only Smasher doesn't really have combo attacks like that, unfortunately. So yeah, there's another one of her throws there. Yeah, her kicks definitely seem to do more damage than her punches. Which is neat. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> that opened the gate. Doesn't seem like it. Let's break open these things. Each one of those had a handgun and a hand grenade in it. You can also beat up the soda machines. Soda will replenish your health. As food and drink often does in video games, or at least in beat em ups. just re released health and I really needed them. Oops, that's my, uh, her special attack. I was trying to do her jumping attack, which you can do by hitting the square button and the circle button at the same time. You can also push the R1 button to run like, the, like this. items into the other side because once we pass through here it won't let us come back through oops didn't mean 
Let's fire it. I think if we throw it with, yeah, if we throw it with square, then it won't actually activate the grenade. But if we throw it with X, then it does activate. Ow. Not exactly the way I wanted that to go, but whatever. We also have running attacks. Let's break all these things. I don't think these trees can be broken. Alright, that guard picked up a gun. Let go. My gun. to have a soda here. And you're dead. Alright, stage complete. But yeah, as you might imagine, each character has their own strengths and weaknesses. With Mace, she's pretty well-rounded, kind of like Hawk. Her kicks, I think, are a little better than his, maybe. Oh, she has a shotgun here. Alright, here they come. Bye, dude. That was actually his name, dude. Just kind of funny. Bring it on, boys. Sandwich, it looks like. Come on, bring it on. I did break out a, a, a fire axe from there, but we want to try and save it. Because on the last four, a couple of big guns are going to show up. So it's probably going to be best to save that axe for them. you're still dead but not anymore okay here come the big dudes and we got him good job mace All right off we go
parts are on the top floor of the Zengu right now. Maybe her slap is better than I had thought. The grab attacks are really good in this game, I gotta say. So someone like Smasher is really at a disadvantage, since he doesn't... He doesn't really get grab attacks. Well, he does, but they're not as good, I should say. Break that thing. Okay, there we go. Now time to finish the stage. Sneaky. All right, Zhang, we're coming for you. Well, there he is. Hey, laugh while you can, big guy, but you're going down. Or at least he would be if he wasn't getting away. So we're gonna have to deal with his lovely ladies instead. Looking at them, they kind of look like a combination of Cammy and Vega from Street Fighter. Best time to use your specials when you're surrounded. Goodbye. you got jump kick is too bad either, if it actually lands. Anyway, Zen got away, but we are gonna chase after him. Uh, yes, I will save my game. Yep, I will overwrite it. <laughs> 